those that one or two, three points that we've seen him be the first guy to go, and he's getting production out of there. And not that he's not getting production normally, but you know he's like ranked, I think, 31st in the league right now. It's going to be interesting to see how he progresses through that. Well, here's the thing, too, is that last year when they were winning those tournaments, the guys that were the catalysts were Dalton Vanderbilt and Alex Goldman. All right? Dalton Vanderbilt and Alex Goldman light the fires, and Ryan Greenspan, Oliver Lang, and Yosh Rao turn it into an inferno. Okay? If Dalton Vanderbilt and uh, Alex Goldman can't get it going here, then it's going to be a long day for Dynasty and a long flight home tonight or tomorrow morning because they need to win this game. They got another game coming up this afternoon against Aftershock, you know, and that if they win against that game but Shock's playing well, you know, it's only going to get them to 2-2. Two and two. Well, the issue for Dynasty in 2012 really has been the snake and now the diamond side of the field. They're not getting any sort of consistent offensive production. They've gone through a couple players. Zach Wake is injured, and he hasn't really played up to his potential. They had Sean Crunchy McDonald out there. He wasn't getting it done. Now they brought back Alex Goldman. He struggled in Phoenix. And now Alex Goldman on the left-hand side of your screen. That's San Diego Dynasty. Right-hand side is Houston Heat. And then Alex Goldman immediately... Uh oh, is he? I think he's got it. Is that? No, that's that's Alex Goldman. I think he pulled his shoulder out diving in right there. And he is going to get run down by Sam Monville. And I really hope for Dynasty's sake that it looked like he had. Yeah, he's got something wrong with his shoulder, man. And that is not going to be good. That's a. That would be a huge loss as Alex Goldman was considered widely to be the best player 2011. And they, you know, he came back specifically to go out and dominate on the snake side of the field for Dynasty again. He played phenomenal in practice on the lead-up to this event. And now it looks like he's got some sort of soldier injury as he is continuing to mess with his shoulder on the walkout on the field. And I really hope that he's okay. Chad yeah. George now in the 50-yard line. And what a move by Sam Monville coming out of nowhere, recognizing Alex Goldman in front of him. Yosh Rao died on the break out of that can, which can lock off the diamond side of the field. But Sam Monville just came out of nowhere and served him up. Yeah, Dynasty cannot catch a break, man. They have they bring Goldman back, and he hinges his shoulder on the first, <laughs> first run. Ah, that's that's got to be frustrating. I really hope that it's maybe a slight tweak, and he might be able to play through it. You know, I'm looking for Chad George. He's just gonna. I think he's gonna run down, Alice. Oh, he looks like he might have. Yeah, I, I saw some paints fly off. I don't know well, if that gonna... was off the bunker or off of his pack. Couldn't tell from here. Now Frazier making a move, and they, now with this bunker. Uh, Chad George and Alex Frazier here in the diamond, and Frazier is going to try to run down Chad George and almost draws a penalty, and the crowd ignites on that. So, Actually, I, I think Chad George got shot from across the field. Um, honestly, I, I, I don't think Alex, uh, Alex Frazier shot him. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm sure he did. He put a couple balls on him, but I think he got shot from across the field. Yeah, Dalton Vanderbilt does have an angle on um, that snake uh, pin where Chad George was at, but... but Guys, look at this field layout right now. Look at the, where the players are. Now, there's just been a crazy bloodbath over here on the diamond side, but look where the players for Houston he are. They are farther up the field than Ryan Greenspan and Darton Vanderbilt, and now because of that, they're able to get into the 50-yard line Dorito, and they have position, and that's, you know, the secondary players for Houston Heat just doing a little bit better job this first point. And yeah, it's, it's, it's all three Feder Russians, too. Yes, yeah, it's, it's Konstantin Fedorov, uh, you know, Mishka, and number 23... Sergey. Sergey. The Russian squad. So these guys are these guys are seasoned professionals together. Um, so I mean, I think they're just going to take it nice and slow, make sure they get the point, not do anything crazy. Well, that is the that is the you know the Russian Legion, Moscow Legion style, and all three of these players came over in the off season to play for Houston Heat. Yeah, and these are the guys they've been closing out games. You know, Mishka and Fedorov, you know, for years now together. So they know what each other are doing. I'm sure they're down there talking to each other. Working the field, you see Fedorov, little hand signal over there, Dalton Vanderbilt and Ryan Greenspan. But, you know, Ryan Greenspan is also one of those guys that can pull out a three-on-one, you know, with a little bit of help over here, too, you know, going against some tough competition. But, you know, Ryan Greenspan, very capable of squeezing some shots in. You know, he's gotten his against Fedorov over the years as well. But, you know, Fedorov in good position over there in their Dorito with Mishka now in the cut between the Diamonds. Yeah, and, and like you said, slow point, and that is what that's to be expected as the Russians, the Russian crew that is uh, playing for Houston Heat and played very well so far this year. As Fedorov is one of our highest ranked players, he's the highest ranked player on Houston Heat, Todd. Yeah, and here's the thing right now, um, you know, Fedorov and Mishka are as wide as they can get. The ball is really in Sergey's court. You know, he's the one that needs to, you know, he all he's doing is standing back there, keeping Dalton, Dalton Vanderbilt from running down Fedorov, but. 
I mean, he's the guy that now that once all the uh, wide guys have gotten as far up as they can go, he's the guy that has the freedom to try and come down one of the seams through the middle of the field and try and use uh, Fedorov or Mishka as bait to shoot the tip of a loader, mm -hmm. side of a goggle, mm -hmm. you know, kind of what we were talking about in that shock game with, uh, um, you know, how uh, Lawhead was set up, you know, with uh, Godain in front of him. Those are the shots that Sergey needs to be looking for right now. Yeah, you got you got tough left on your side of your screen. Well, Sergey's got the Vendable. ball, Chris. Sergey has the ball right now, and he's just been chilling in that back stand up for a little bit now. I think he might try to make the bump up to the the center tower right there. And now Fedorov is trying to get out in the blind area, and he is. He's right out in the middle of the field. Oh, oh and Mishka gets a shot cross field on Dalton Vanderbilt, and it's just Ryan Greenspan. And Dynasty is going to be forced to concede the point. And you know, I, I guarantee you, if I'm Ryan Greenspan, I'm going to run in the. Well, I wouldn't be yelling yet but i'd be like look guys i grab each one i look him in the eye and say please we need the best out of you today okay we really need this is this is di we're dynasty okay we've you know there's a reason why we have over 50 professional wins in our career in the span of a decade and it's because we can play clutch we can play aggressive we have all of the tools in fact let's look at dynasty's keys to victory right here number one get alex goldman in the snake up in this diamond and they were able to do it but he blew his shoulder out I, I, I don't know if he blew his shoulder out. Oh, it looks like he is coming back on the field, so thank God for Dynasty, Dynasty fans. As Alex Goldman is definitely going to be back on the field for this next point. That's huge. They need to get aggressive. If they don't get aggressive, Dynasty can't win. They, they just, they're not a counterpunch team. They have counterpunch ability because of their talent level, and particularly Alex Frazier has been phenomenal, and he's, that's why he's ranked so high in the overall player rankings. I mean, Alex Frazier is ranked 10th uh, overall in the league, and that's because though his team hasn't been playing well over here on the Snake side, he's the guy that's been getting up there and trying to make something happen, and they got to dictate the pace of the game. That's so important for Dynasty. They have to dictate the pace of the game. They're going to do that by getting up in the diamond, by getting up on the Drudo side, and getting their players in the mix. All right, let's check out a replay here. And this is that Alex Frazier move. Alex Frazier gets right in there. He's the guy closest to you on your screen. He gets up, and this is what he's been doing all season long. Gets up there and takes out Chad George. And Chad George pleading his case. But, Chris, like you said, you thought he got shot cross field. Let's check it out from this angle. And, you know, it looked to me like he got shot in the top right side of his goggles. Um, just as he gets up, I think he gets shot right about here. Right yeah. there. Yeah, he did get shot cross yeah. field. So, I mean, it was it was definitely Simo at the very, he would, it was so close. I mean, they both should have come so out. So that was a good call by the referee. It was a great because call. the crowd erupted yeah. thinking that Chad George got the worst end of the deal there. But when you look at it on the replay, it ended up being a really good call by the referees. Here we go. Start of this next point. Both teams at five strong. And Alex Goldman is definitely back on the field. And he runs out to the back corner and he makes it out alive. Oh, right now losing Ryan Greenspan on the break over here is Dynasty. And also losing number four, um, that's Ronnie Dizon. No, they, oh, uh, no, they, they, Dynasty lost uh, um, their new pickup. Um, that is, uh, that was Ray. They Ray lost Ray. Yeah, Ray Alamada. And that is what Ray can't be getting shot out of his bunker like that. As we see Sam Monville up in the uh, 50 yard line of the diamond structure. And Dynasty is just getting destroyed out of their bunkers. They lose Glenn Takamoto. They still have Alex Goldman, though, over here. And Goldman is going to have to try to pull some tricks out of his hat as he's looking at two bodies in front of him. Yeah, you know, with Sam Monville, and, and you know, you have two of the best snake players in the game right now with Chad George and Sam Monville. Oh, he clips. Sam Monville clips out Alex Goldman. Uh, Sam Monville is also the one that clipped. Uh, he also clipped Glenn Takamoto across the field once he got in the snake. Just on fire right now. So going up two quick points is heat over Dynasty. Sam Monville, man, he's just been putting in work for I, Houston I, Heat over here. I love that guy. First he's, game. <laughs> his personality is just fantastic. He has a great family. Um, I met his mom and dad. I have the luxury of that. I mean, I just love, I just love it. Let's check out the keys to victory here for Houston Heat. They need to stay focused. This is, a, this is a team that, though they have a ton of experience, and they're doing very well, and they just, they just got put together. So the, 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 um, the team dynamic is something that's still evolving for them, and they've done very, very well. They took the second and the first, so they've got to stay focused, keep their eyes on the prize, and realize that, okay, look, we're playing well, but there's still some things that we need to tweak. And they've got to listen to their coach. They have an amazing coach. He's on the field right now, right now for them. It's Jason Trojan, you know, former uh, Detroit Thunder player. That is a now-defunct team. He used to play in the NXL back in the day, 2003-04-05. And then uh, 
And then he was helped out with the Philly Americans when they won some championships. So that guy's got a great paintball mind, and they need to play clutch. As they get later on in this event, they're going to start facing teams that are, you know, of e obviously of equal talent level and want to win as well. So these points are going to get really close. These, t these games are going to get really close, and they've got to win those clutch points. Yeah, you know, and right now, this uh, Dynasty's just not looking as crisp as they usually do. Um, they're losing some gun battles. Um, they're, they're not catching the fills like they use. They're pretty good at usually catching the fills when people get in, like, the diamond or whatnot and, uh, you know, recognizing that. I think they're missing those, 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 uh, those fills, and I think they're, they're just, you know, just not, their field awareness just isn't what it usually is. Um, but I don't expect them to sit back. I mean, Oliver Lang's out there, Yosh Rao, uh, Ryan Greenspan, Alex Goldman going to go do work. Uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing them come back to this game right now. Yeah, I'd like to see Dynasty shoot some people on the break, too. Now, also, major penalty. Uh, I'm sorry, minor penalty on, no, on I Heat. Think, I think it was a major because it's over a minute that's up on the clock right now, and it was Ronnie Dizon got a major penalty for the Houston Heat. Right, I think I did see that. I just didn't see the flag go up. I saw. I think they, they pulled Chad Bouchier uh, for that, uh, that last game, but still they pulled the point out. So. Yeah, man, diving into Dorito 1 but getting shot is Big Sergey leaving just two, uh, three bodies left on the field. One of them still in the box. You got Fedorov in the back center, Mishka in that center can, Chad George over here. Um, but Alex Goldman's walking off. Yosh Round, Ryan Greenspan on the diamond side of the field. Oliver Lang shoots Mishka and is now attacking the center of the field. Chad George comes in and shoots Oliver. Dalton Vanderbilt shoots both players and runs and grabs the flag. Smart move by Dalton Vanderbilt to go over and get the flag after he saw the two eliminations to save as much time on that major penalty as possible. Yeah, that was, that was good heads up paintball by, by uh, Dalton Vanderbilt. You know, they actually, oh, they're actually, looks like they're double checking him here. So we want to make sure, uh, you know, that would just, that would be horrible. Okay, good. That's thumbs up right there by the refs. You can see thumbs up means it's a clean hang. Dalton Vanderbilt, two to one right now coming back. Good move by, by Oliver Lang. I mean, we actually haven't seen that much out of Oliver this weekend, but yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Yeah, and Oliver is one of the linchpins of that team, so good for him to step up and help Dynasty put a point on the board and keep that dreaded three-point spread from getting up there. Dalton Vanderbilt looking at him right now, 23 years old, 5'8", 165. Plays the front on the Dorito side from Chino, California. Been playing pro for four years and played with Aftermath, and he really kind of blossomed and came into his own in the 2011 season playing the Dorito side for Dynasty, and that was when... That's when everyone really started kind of giving him looks and giving him, well, he'd always been respected, but really realized this is one of the top players in the game. All right, let's check out this replay, Todd. Yeah, here we go. We have Oliver Lang coming into the middle of the field, trying to work out Fedorov. Chad George tries to come at him, but gets shot by Dalton. And then Dalton is running across the field, actually. I mean, I don't think he knew that Fedorov was dead yet. <laughs> I don't, th I, don't know, think I was kind of thinking that, but I thought maybe he shot Fedorov. And that's why he took off, but no, he just took off. He didn't know Fedorov was there. Luckily, either Ryan Greenspan or Yosh Rao had shot Fedorov out of that back center. Otherwise, that might have been bad news because those are the type of moves that just <laughs> seem to happen to Fedorov all the time. You right. know, oh, I shoot one guy in front of me, and somebody doesn't know I'm there. I shoot him, and next thing you know, he's running down the flag, doing a, a six-foot leap into the thing, and then, uh, you know, doing a little nice dance for yeah. everybody on camera. Yeah, and that was the first point that Houston Heat has lost this entire event. You know, and I mean, I, 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 I and that was under penalty. <laughs> And okay, they're, still, they're still, still under penalty right yeah. now. 30 seconds left in that major penalty with Ronnie Dizon. And here we go on the breakout. Dynasty seeing, trying to get five alive. They take a... Looks like they get a shot on that's number 57. Yeah, they shot Chad George trying Chad. to get up in the center. They also shot Ryan Smith. I mean, I, mean, I think John Woodley. Woodley. So there's only two players left now Sorry, for uh, Houston Heat. Yeah, with the 10 seconds left on that major, Dynasty needs to get in position to shoot that box. Should not be a problem for Ryan Greenspan. Yeah, Ryan Greenspan is definitely right by the flag, up in the center of the field, trying to get a shot on Fedorov. Ronnie. And Ronnie Dizon dives out of the box, and it looks like he made it in clean. So he's alive, and now he's going to try to streak out and make it all the way to back corner, but he gets clipped in the back. Yeah, it was, that was Ryan Greenspan. That was a great shot by Ryan Greenspan. Good field awareness right now. And Greenspan now sharking up the field and gets to the stall. And you're looking at Ryan Greenspan. Oh, but they lost Yosh Rao. Uncharacteristically, Yosh Rao loses a gunfight one. They're up bodies. And that could potentially hurt him. They just need to get a, try to get a shot in as, as uh, Monville gets shot. So there's only one player left alive, and he's in that back center. Dynasty's still, looking with three, still working with three bodies. And also uh, Alex Goldman is also left uh, in the back 
center bunker trying to come over to the other side of the field and spread the field a little bit because there was nobody on the Dorito side of the field for Dynasty. Really dangerous move, though. I mean, Fedorov, again, in that back center, you know, Ryan Greenspan looked like uh, you know, he was having some pretty good snap shooting battles with him. Alex Frazier finally came up and got involved. Those are the situations where you need to get up and just have as many guns on that back guy as possible. You know, when he's sitting in there sucking up into that tiny little back center um, tall, uh, tall cake, I mean, just pound the guns, pound the guns, pound the guns, and make him rattled, you know? Get him nervous, and he'll come out, and he'll make a silly mistake. But when you only have one guy on him, and he only has a deal with one guy at a time, you're going to give him confidence. Okay, I just got to win one battle, and then I win my next snap shooting battle. And then, and then it's a one-on-one, -on -one and, you know, let it all go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got a replay. Let's check it out. And you're looking at, that's Alex Frazier in the snake right here. And then Ryan Greenspan up in that center trying to get a shot on the back center as he comes over the top of that bunker. And Ryan Greenspan calm and collected there. They know he knows their bodies, but he's looking around him. Get involved, he's saying. <laughs> he's like, can you help me? Help me, please. Guys, I'm all the way up here. I can't <laughs> go any further. You know, and, and good heads up paintball, because he, he, was, he was trying to realize how, you know, if you look around, you know that you don't have anybody on the real side. You know that Fedorov can wrap the entire side of that bunker. Um, so good field awareness by Ryan Greenspan, you know, obviously one of one of uh, our standout players and, you know, he's one of my favorite players to watch. Uh, well, you know, he's just so consistent. Like Ryan is always in the mix. He doesn't, you know, notice he was the last guy left alive when Dynasty was getting the break speed off in the first couple points. They've now tied it up. It's two to two. And Todd, it kind of goes back to what you're saying. Hey, you'd love to see Dynasty shoot some guys off the break. That's been the difference so far. Yeah, finally they got two guys, you know, and then when you have a major penalty, instantly Heat's playing with two bodies and then uh, Dynasty came on the attack. So, I mean, this could be the situation where Dynasty finally realizes, you know, that the, the bear has awoken and uh, <laughs> it's time to start clawing people to death. Well, here we go. It's all tied up to a piece. 12 minutes and four seconds left to go. And you're watching Dynasty on the breakout right now on your screen. And they lose a body as it looks like that was Glenn Takamoto who got shot off the break on the Dorito side of the field. Yeah, and now another player, number two, uh, going down. That's Chad Bouchier. Yeah, yeah, going down for Houston. Heat. Also losing another player. So the Dorito side wide open right now. Yeah, but look at this. John Woodley. Yeah, John Woodley, man, who had the game or had the the uh, play of the day yesterday with that four pack. He got on the run through, nonstop run through up the center of the field, and he is now in really good field position for Houston Heat. Though Houston Heat has already lost two bodies. Oh, uh, another right there. John Woodley shooting across the field, taking out Oliver Lang, and now here comes. Nick Slowiak, right on your screen right here. That is a battle right now that's going to win this game. John Woodley against Alex Goldman. Yeah, Alex Goldman just needs to put the pressure on. Ooh, Alex Goldman devastating on that move right there. And if he's comes hit, though, it might be a penalty. Uh -oh. And know that they don't call him out, or that no penalty on that. And uh, Goldman not even sure if he got hit. But Chad George, Nick Slowiak died at the same time. Chad George now alive in the mini race bunker Two with on Ray Aumada down here in the uh, diamond side corner. And he's got some help up there. That is Glenn. No, Glenn Takamoto died. I think that's... There's only two players left alive for Dynasty. They're both in the back corner bunkers, one on the diamond side, one on the Dorito side. They need to talk it up right now and realize there's only one player that they're looking at and start spreading that field and working up that way. Now, Chad George, he's going to try to get a shot on cross field. He's working on back corner bunker over there. Can't see who that is. He's yeah, hiding back there. I think that is I, I think it is Brock Takamoto. Now, you know, with that said, now, they, I think that it's two and two. This is a crucial point for both teams. I think that Dynasty is actually content with running this down to one minute and then winning the, winning the point. I mean, honestly, I, I, that's because they don't they don't need to run down the hey, field. Hey, just win, baby. It's like we always yeah. say. It doesn't matter how you do it. So if that would work. But, you know, Dynasty, they, no matter what, they have to win the point. And... It's the, uh, it's the rookie, Ray. Ray Amata. And Ray Amata is going to come up, and he cannot, he cannot lose this battle right here. And Glenn needs to start engaging. So nice job by Ray, by Ray to get in there and take out Chad George. He stays alive, grabs that flag, and he's going to hang it. Yeah, great job right there. I mean, that, that was well played by Dynasty. I mean, I, I don't know if I would have ran him down like that. I mean, that's a little scary that's situation. <laughs> yeah, well, you're rolling the dice on that one. Yes. I mean, when you're in a two-on-one situation, you don't want to. You do actually don't want to do what Ray did. No. That's that's a that's a that's a high-risk play. The reason why, and it it worked for him, and he ended up getting the best of Chad George there. But the reason why you don't want to do that is because if you make that aggressive move, 
and then you're just standing up, just standing up, gunned up on that guy, then if he get does get a snapshot on you, then he brings it to a one-on-one, -on -one, and you don't want to do that. You want to utilize the advantage. You only want to engage in a player in a two-on-one -on -one situation. You're looking at Ray's stats right there, 25, 5, 6, 145. Plays the front from Compton. That's why they call him Compton Ray. Compton Ray, it's you know, my dude. And actually, didn't he serve <laughs> in the military force as yeah. well? Yeah, Ray so, actually played with Ray on Aftermath. Um, in uh, 07, 08, or yeah, 07, and he um, ended up joining the Marines and going overseas for a little bit. Now he's back playing with Dynasty. So here's the replay. You see Alex Goldman coming in, putting it on Woodley. I don't think he got shot. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't see anything break on him. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell either from there, but no, it's not. He, oh, it looks like there's one on his belt, but okay. I, I mean... So here it is, and this is this is Ray Amata there on that last. He does it, you know, he stays tight there. But if Chad George had got that shot on him right there, it would have been a one-on-one -on -one situation. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, he's living on the edge yeah, right I know. there. You know, and like you said, and right there, and Glenn Takamoto at that time was still in the corner. You know, then it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. If, if he gets that shot on him, you know, that's kind of scary. Well, they looked at each other, and Glenn was like, hey, bro, go bunker him, try to bunker him. Uh, if not, I'll just win a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, and Glenn is... Oh, Glenn, he, superb. Oh, yeah. Glenn is the ninja. Such a, he's such a tactician. He is. He is. So here we go. And then you're looking at that from the opposite side. And Chad George thought he got a shot on him, but I think it just hit the bunker, and he's going to end up walking off. Yeah, and Chad George usually makes those shots. So, so Dynasty here putting it on. Houston Heat, three unanswered points for Dynasty. And look at this big move oh. off the break. As looks <laughs> like... Uh, Got that Monville look like Willie Mays Hayes out there. <laughs> Came up about three feet too short. But Dynasty also losing two players oh, in the major break. penalty, guys, on Woodley. So Woodley is going to draw a major penalty. Now Oliver Lang, sensing what happened, gets up in the center. He's going to drop the hammer on Mishka. Yeah, immediately. Here it comes, and he's going to get an extra shot in, and he's going to try to grab that flag and sprint it in. And look at this. Now four unanswered points by, by San Diego Dynasty. Yeah, str four straight points. You know, Dalton Van But you know, the good thing right now is Houston Heat shot Dalton Vanderbilt and Alex Goldman, both corner guys, on the break. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's, what happened with John Woodley on that point. Um, but unfortunately, um, you know, he, he's obviously playing on. But I'm not sure exactly what happened. He's playing a corner, too. So it's one of those things where he might have got clips in the loader, something along those lines. But, you know, losing two players in the break. Houston Heat had the advantage that game. Um, Sam Monville tripping, stumping, dumping, fell down. Stumbling, mumbling, stumbling. bumbling. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it was, you could see the frustration. He, like, dove and he just stopped. <laughs> right in the middle of the, of the parking lot. It's like, oh, my goodness. Well, he was, hoping, right he was hoping he was going to get a little bit of a frictionless entry with the water being sprayed out by the referees. But I <laughs> think he mistimed it slightly. Oh, man. I, <laughs> and I love Sam to death. I and mean, I hate seeing that. But it was kind of kind of funny. <laughs> so, Yeah. Well. You know, that's a, we've seen a couple penalties coming out of that. Uh, diamond side corner on the uh, on the far side down here. Uh, you know, Houston Heat's pit side. You know, Corey Field he got one earlier. You know, now another one coming out of that corner. So, you know, I mean, right. John Woodley. I mean, he he earned it. He's going to the box. Ronnie Dizon got that one earlier. And yeah. uh, you know, penalties really hurting Houston Heat right now. Yeah, and there's Oliver Lang in the pits, airing up his gun and trying to pump his boys up. The next squad that coming out. Right now, they got the two Alexes, Alex Goldman and Alex Frazee, going to be double teaming this diamond side of the field and the always consistent and very highly ranked Yosh Rao, who I think is playing the best paintball he's played. Uh, potentially, you know, he's had a, obviously had a lot of good years. I think I think this game he's he's, gonna, he's having a rough game this game though. Well, he got, he did get shot. That I, we did see him die early in that one point um, when they were up bodies. But other than that, not too many hiccups. But the thing is, is that. You know, with Yosh Rao is that he's very mentally tough, so he's going to be able to to fight back mentally through that, and he's not one of those players that gets easily frustrated. Split screen breakout for you. Dynasty on your right, Houston Heat on your left. Great breakout by both teams. I mean, conservative, you know, but effective. Oh, Chad George going down on the left side of your screen. Also, Alex Frazier taking the walk. Um, so now it's four on three in favor of Dynasty with 128 left on that major penalty. Todd. And let's see, Todd, what Alex Goldman can do over here. He's only looking at, well, he's looking at two guns, but one in particular, and that's Sam Monville in the center. Yeah, Sam Monville in great position to keep Alex Goldman at bay. But, I mean, this is the time where you want to charge through the middle and not through the lanes that Sergey and Monville are holding right now. Ryan Greenspan, I probably wouldn't have made that move 
up to that tower. Lucky got in there alive. Sergey looking right through that zone. I mean, we've seen a lot of players. I mean, uh, the 187 guys, the Thunder guys, heat a lot yesterday, really attacking that um, box behind the A, the little cake. You know, th this is where the move needs to come from, I feel, with only three bodies left alive, both of them looking outwards, and Fedorov back there in that back corner. I mean, this is where Yosh Rao needs to get up and come through the middle. Alex Goldman, he can just deal with Sam Monville. You know, he doesn't, he really needs to not lose a silly gun battle here, but I think Yosh Rao, you know, having the body advantage, of course, they don't really need to go anywhere being up too, but, I mean, Heat can score points quick. If he wants to get up and get through the middle of this field, I think that's where it's going to open it up for Dynasty well, right now with the advantage. Well, Todd, I'm also interested to see what Ryan Greenspan is going to do over there as he's the furthest guy up. And, and Ryan consistently this year, when he gets this opportunity to be the first guy to go, uh, he's, he's been really aggressive. So now I know they are up two. Now he gets out to three to one. And let's look at the box as Woodley is able to get out clean. No one even shot at him as he got out of that box. So Heats gets another player in the mix. Yeah, yeah see, nobody in position to shoot that guy. Well, I think that Dicey right now is just content grinding this clock down to nothing. Um, you know, you got Ryan Greenspan actually mirrored up with uh, Sergei Shlishnikov. He actually made it outside there. Uh, you got Alex Goldman on the on one side of your screen, Yosh Rao on the right side of your screen. Uh, so, I mean, they're content right now. I mean, it's four on four. Dynasty doesn't have to do anything. They could just sit there and chill. Yeah, but John Woodley coming out here now mirrored up with Alex Goldman. You know, and I, I want to see, you know, somebody's got to make something out. I think John Woodley is that aggressive kind of player. He's going to try and get up the field. Um, right there you see Ryan Greenspan, and there, there's John Woodley making the move to that small race bunker, but Ryan Greenspan has a shot across the field on him. And gets I him think in the he goggles. did, yeah. So Ryan Greenspan getting another kill cross field. Good shot on John Woodley. And he's, I was going to say, is he hurt? No, he's What's just no, frustrated. Just, no. Somebody had to do something. Yeah. Um, and John Woodley was the guy to do it because Sam Monville's a little busy right now with, with uh, Alex Goldman. Uh, he can't go anywhere because if he leaves that bunker, Ryan Greenspan has a good shot at him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, John Woodley just not crisp enough on that movement. You saw him come across to that first temple. As we see, uh, Ryan Greenspan moves into the 50 Dorito, staring at Sam Monville's pack. Sam Monville tries to wrap around and shoot him. And this is where Alex Goldman and Ryan Greenspan, Alex got to realize that if, if he pushes Sam Monville around, Alex can, I mean, Ryan can shoot him. Yeah. And, you know, that's just teamwork right there. And right there, uh, Sergei Shlishnikov right there, left-hand side of the screen with Sam Monville. I mean, Ryan Greenspan is just chilling out right there. Nobody can go anywhere. So look for Shlishnikov to try and go bunker out Ryan Greenspan. Well, because eventually here with five minutes and 32 seconds and they're down two points, he has to push. They have to go. It doesn't matter they only have two guys and they're looking at four. They have to push up the field because if they just chill on those bunkers, they're going to lose. So, you know, Monville knows that. Sergey knows that. They're vets. They've been around. And at a certain point, the, the, but the question is when. And in, uh, it's definitely not right this moment because of this lockout that uh, Dynasty is putting down on him right now. But that being said, Monville, who's just kind of hugging that bunker, and he hasn't even got a shot off in for a little bit. And here comes Dalton Vanderbilt. He makes oh. the big move. Oh, so there was that. There was a third third player over there, and he gets... Oh, and Dalton. That makes no sense to me. Why, why would it happen? Because he was keeping Ryan Greenspan alive. Oh, wow. And so Ryan is going to trade out. Oh, but Monville gets shot at that same time. And is Yosh Rao still alive? Yeah, Yosh had come out over here on the uh, on the, the diamond side of the field. So it's two on one, a little bit chaos that just happened. Dynasty with the one player advantage. But the issue is that they're just like, it doesn't even really, well, it does matter. But Yosh has to get up the field. I mean, Alex and Yosh are right next to each other. So though it is a two on one, and look at this, Goldman is picking up paintballs and Yosh doesn't have anything to give him. So this could make it really interesting. Yeah, I mean, there's five minutes left, in, four minutes left in this game. Um, I, I guess what would you do in this situation, Todd? Would you just sit there and just kind of guard the flag? <laughs> I mean, what do you? I mean, the flag's over here, so there's no way Shalishnikov's going to get it without without taking out both of these guys. And this is when the chess match starts happening. You know, they're out of paint. Goldman and and uh, and Rao are out of paintballs. They probably have a couple left in their loader. I don't know. Goldman's probably down to his last couple because he's picking paintballs up off the ground. I don't know what Sergey's working with because we can't see his back from here. But that being said, Chris, just like you were just talking about, he's got to get all the way over here to the flag and look at Yosh. Uh, oh, they can, and they Houston can see heat. the point. Wow. Houston, and I was just going to say that earlier. I mean, I, and <laughs> dude, that's a horrible feeling to be out of paint, picking up paint off the ground. Well, at least, we're in the, at least the weather here is good enough to pick it up off the ground. Galveston, that pretty much wasn't an option. So, um, you know, in Phoenix, they were melting yeah. as soon as they came well, out of your gun. <laughs> pick it up out of the puddle? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, but hey, well, well played right there. Three minutes and 46 seconds left. 5-2 lead right now for Dynasty. That's, 
I mean, hey, and that just goes back to the top, Chris. Just, just win, baby. Just win. You know, it doesn't matter how you win the point. Just get it done. And though they were out of paint, Yosh didn't have any paint left because he was gunfighting out of that back center for so much. And Yosh carries paint out. He does not run out of paint on a regular basis. Goldman doesn't carry as much paint because he's aggressively pushing up the field. It's going to slow him down a bit, potentially get him shot in the pack. But still, they're both picking. They're, you know, Goldman's picking up paintballs out of the ground. But Yosh should put himself in a position. He knows smartest opponent, the smartest players in the league. Hey, man, I, all I got to do is have a couple balls and watch that flag and they ended up having to concede, he'd had to concede it. Let's check out this replay. Look at this. That's Woodley, Todd. That was that Woodley kind of sloppy getting in there. <laughs> yeah. And sloppy. He went sloppy to both he spots. Went, yep. Sam Monville School diving. He got, he got sammed on that, on that one. Because I mean, it looks like the ground's just kind of grabbing their feet. Um, you know, but hey, give it to John Woodley for you getting to the field. And this, I think this is where Ryan Greenspan gets shot by um, uh, Fedorov. You know, but I, don't, I don't like that move much by Dalton Vanderbilt. Um, he got shot way, way before he got there. Thank yeah. God he didn't pull his trigger because that would have been definitely a major. Oh, because that would have pulled Greenspan out and he yep. would have been able to trade because, look, he trades out right here with, uh, I think that was Fedorov, was that, uh, Fedorov running yeah. through the field. Great move by Fedorov, though. I mean, I, I like I, I like what I saw out of them. I mean, I think that Dalton and could have just protected Ryan Greenspan, sat there, not done a dang thing, and been just fine with it. Well, I mean, it, you know, but now it's 5-2 to two in favor of Dynasty, so... Look for some aggressive paintball right now to come out of John Woodley. Up the watch, up the middle of the field probably. All right, so no much before the start of this point, and here we go. Dynasty doubling up that back center, but you're looking at Monville on your screen as he runs oh, up. Gets oh, gets flipped on top of the loader. I swear I saw that. Yeah, on Houston. John Woodley. So yeah, so Woodley at Houston Heat is going to be losing bodies. They lose Dizon. They lose. Looks like Chad. Yeah, yeah, over there. And Dizon is limping too. Man, we are seeing a rash of guys just tweaking. Their, uh, their, either their ankles or their knees, and, and Woodley gets shot going up the center, and it's just looking terrible for Heat. I don't know what is going on right now. They're throwing their bodies away. They're getting shot out of their bunkers, and you can see a frustrated Chad George punt, or, uh, yeah, punting his pod into the ground. Oh, you, and you know what? This, this goes back to what you guys talked about yesterday. And you guys, Todd, I think you said it the best. Maddie, Maddie, you asked Todd yesterday, okay, if you're in the pits and you're playing Houston Heat, what are you going to say? And what did you say yesterday? Stop Chad George. Stop Chad George, stop Sam Mon Stan Monville, keep them guys coming out the field, and effectively get down the field and counter punch. And that's exactly what they're doing right now. They're taking out their, their um, aggressive players, Sam Monville, John Woodley, uh, Chad George, and they're just shutting them down. Also getting a key G on the break, and it's hot, you know, counter punch paintball. Yeah, penalties have definitely hurt them too, but, I mean, we haven't seen Fedorov attack either, though. You know, we really haven't seen him come out and play like he's been playing. We've seen him, you know, in the back center. We've seen him in the Dorito corner. You know, yesterday he was attacking towards the diamond side of the field, attacking up those Doritos, you know. Really they haven't had that opportunity, partly because of the penalties, but, I mean, at the same time, you know, if you're the star player for Houston Heat, you know, you got to get up into the mix and start doing work. Chad George tried, but Dynasty did a really good job of shutting him down. Well, Dynasty is, there's two things that are happening right now. One, they're proving that Houston Heat is mortal. And two, at, you know, because they've put six unanswered points on the board against Houston Heat, who didn't lose a point all of yesterday, didn't lose a point through the first two points of this game. And another thing that they're doing is they're finally starting to find the rhythm. They're getting production out of some guys. Alex Goldman, who looked like he could have potentially had a, a devastating shoulder injury because, I mean, I, for a second I thought it was dislocated because he didn't even move for the first 10 seconds or so that he jumped in there and all he did was try to tweak his shoulder. So it might actually have been dislocated. I, I can't wait to actually hear um, about how he's truly feeling, but he's fighting through it. He's on the field right now, and that just shows how tough that kid is. Absolutely. You know, and I think it kind of took him out of his game for a second, which gave, I think it was Chad George, the, the opportunity to run him down. Or I think it was Sam Monville, actually. Um, you know, because, you know, popping out a shoulder or anything is, is horrible. And, um, you know, at first point of the game, I think it might be hindering him right now. So. Well, he's still playing well, though. And uh, so whether or not it actually is hurting him, I don't think it's hindering him. So here we go on the start breakout. You're looking at Dynasty. And they get Ryan Greenspan up there. And Dynasty, Todd, like you said, you wanted Dynasty to shoot some guys off the break? Well, they're doing it. And they've been doing it for a while. Yep, they shot it right there. Sam Monville, like you said, Todd, you know, kicked them out of the game. Yep, Ryan Smith getting the spin finally over on the Dorito side. On into Dorito 1 for Houston Heat. And here around the corner comes John Woodley. Sergey, or actually Fedorov, goes up to that center can. He gets shot. Dalton Vanderbilt comes running down the field. He gets shot up. Yosh Rao fills out to the Dorito side corner. Oliver Lang in that center can for Dynasty. Alex Goldman in the uh, diamond side corner. Looking at John Woodley right now. There you have Oliver Lang just in that can trying to lock off the diamond side of the field. I think 
you know, this was this was what was the difference is Dynasty really took away the diamond side of the field of Houston Heat in this matchup. Yeah, they really did, and we had talked about that being a crucial element for them to take the victory. And all is Oliver Lang, amazing move. Just Oliver Lang just <laughs> dominating and graceful. Putting it on Ryan Smith. Yeah, and now if he's still alive, he's going to be hunting next backs and packs and doesn't even have to do that because it looks like uh, Woodley getting shot out of that diamond. So Alex Goldman and, and Oliver Lang stepping up. Ryan Greenspan uncharacteristically died early in this point. We hadn't seen that much out of him. Uh, so just it's been all San Diego Dynasty as they put score seven unanswered points straight seven straight unanswered points I yeah. mean uh, he, he came out got the first two points against Dynasty and you actually you said it best earlier Maddie You're like man blowouts yesterday now. We're going back and forth But what we're seeing as a trend people running five six points straight well, well, let's look at this statistic too We've had 57 matches where one team has led another team by two points. Okay, there's 29 matches in Texas and uh uh, 28 matches in Phoenix, so 57 total this season. And 84% of the time, the team that leads by two points wins the match. So Dynasty, they go down 2-0, and they're like, look, man, I don't care what the stats are. We're going to come out, and we're going to finally, finally play some Dynasty paintball, and we're going to win with some gumption, and they do it here today against a very strong... You know, great great gameplay by both teams. I mean, like, like Todd said, those penalties definitely hurt... Houston Heat this game, um, and they took out effectively Chad George and Sam Monville yeah, consistently. Well, yeah, it was the momentum swing too. You know, it finally gave Dynasty some confidence to get out and get up. But you know, we can take a look at this replay right here, uh, real quick. There you have Ryan Greenspan. There's the breakout. Sam Monville trying to go to the mini Dorito gets shot on the break. He walks out, and then there went the push down that side of the field. Oliver Lang comes streaking down the side of the field, bunkers out Ryan Smith and then sees the back of John Woodley's head. You see him tear apart Ryan Smith right there. Oliver, Oliver can make it look real graceful. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I, he, <laughs> he has great, he, not only has, he has impeccable timing, he has the, he, he has the split second decision making to go right or left and get in there, bunker somebody and live. Yeah, and you could see that, look, Oliver, obviously, arguably one of the best players in the world. He struggled this season, though, but when he makes a 